Today, we find ourselves at a critical point in time. In the coming period, we will need to make pressing and important decisions. Iran aims to gain nuclear weapons and threaten not only Israel, but the entire world. The state of Israel seeks stability and security. We are interested. Iran remains the primary driver of instability in the region. And we remain deeply concerned by Iran's support for terrorism, its dangerous proxies, its nuclear advances, its aggression at sea, its cyber threats. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It is terrific to be back in Israel. As President Biden has said, the genius of, democracy, of American democracy and Israeli democracy is that they are both built on strong institutions, on checks and balances, and on an independent judiciary. And level, and how decisive should that be regarding Israeli and American policy in Iran, not just this week. So calling on all of our allies and partners to step up now at this hinge moment in history. Nations of goodwill, and especially our fellow democracy, must all urgently do their part to help Ukraine fight for its freedom. The issue that I have to consult with the United States before announcing it. Uh, so we had a very frank and candid discussion among friends about the need to de-escalate, to lower tensions, and to restore calm, especially before the holidays of Passover and Ramadan. As we always have, we're calling on the Palestinian leadership to combat terrorism and to resume security cooperation and to condemn incitement. And as I always have, I was very clear about Israel's right to defend itself against terrorism. That's it? That's it. Thank you very Mr. much, Secretary. everyone. Thank you. You had a great colleague, great Thank partner. You. Yeah.